Are we, are we rolling? Right. William Tyndale was born in North Nibley, England in 1496. He went to school at Cambridge and Oxford where he studied the Bible and Biblical languages. He was influenced by John Wycliffe and the Lollard movement, which led him to translate the Bible from Latin into English. Something that had never been done before Ethan, because... Ethan, this, this isn't working out. Can we try something with a little more pizzazz? That's a bit too much pizzazz. When William was 16, he went to Oxford and Cambridge to study the Bible and Biblical languages. William, you idiot! How many times must I tell you? Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Linking up verbs and phrases and clauses. That's my boy. William showed a remarkable talent for languages. By the time he left school, he was fluent in Hebrew, German, French, Latin, Spanish, Italian, and Klingon. He was influenced by the works of John Wycliffe and the Lollard Movement, who were key figures in the English Reformation. It was because of this that he began his great work translating the Latin Vulgate into English. So I have this great idea. I'm going to translate the Bible into English so that the common people can read it and not have to listen to what the priest says. Ah, hello there, Mr. King of England. Stucker groveling loyal subjects. Uh, <sighs> you know what annoys me to no end. What, Your Majesty? There are these rabble rousers trying to translate the Bible into English. Is that so? I might lose control over all of my populace. In fact, if I find the one responsible, I'm going to have to kill him. Well, I'll just keep going now. Oh, um, fetch me a large glass of milk. Yes. Well, in all actuality, it's not like I have anything against the guy personally. Mm. But you have to understand where I'm coming from. I'm in control of a country that I have a significant amount of the population who I prefer to remain in ignorance. <sighs> what? Yes, Catherine. I know. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Alright, I love you too. I tell you. Women. You can't live with them, and you can't kill them? Due to the persecution of Henry VIII, William was forced to flee his homeland and take sanctuary in the country of Germany. There, he was sheltered by Martin Luther, who shared his reformed theological beliefs. Here, William was also able to receive much needed help with his translation. While in Germany, he befriended Henry Phillips, an English spy serving in Western Europe. It was a friendship that William would later come to regret. Mr. Tyndallson. Actually, it's Tyndale. William Tyndale. Henry Phillips. It's a pleasure to meet you. Best friends forever? Forever and ever. Finishing his English translation of the Bible in 1525, William submitted the manuscript to a printer in Cologne. Ah, you must be the printer of Cologne. I've translated this Bible from Latin into English. Can you tell me what you think of it?
Why, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Distributing his Bibles in England had its own setbacks. The Anglican priests confiscated and burned many of the texts, and a shipwreck resulted in the destruction of an entire printing. Wanted by the authorities of England and the Vatican, William left Germany for Brussels. It was here that he would be betrayed by his one-time friend, Henry Phillips. Mr. Tendelson. I love that, Mr. Henry Phillips. It's Saturday night. Would you say you and I go and translate some Bibles? Ooh, that sounds like a great idea. Uh -huh, I knew it! You are under arrest! Uh, how could you betray me? Oh, that's what we do in the double agent business. Loyalty? Sure, I value loyalty. And if there's a place where they'll pay more for my loyalty, well, I'm gonna go where they value loyalty the most. For a whole year, he was imprisoned in the Belgian castle of Vervolgi, where he suffered many indignities. Quiet down in there! Here's your gruel! Mm. Gruel! Gruel! Oh. Ooh. Ah. Are you kidding me? Well, you don't get out and about as much as you like to. You know, the food's kind of bland. If you can get it through the bars, that is. Uh, I've been working on these Sudoku's here, trying to pass time. It's funny, because I can translate the Bible from Latin into English, but I can't do a darn Japanese number puzzle. I mean... What's up with that? William was ordered to be put to death. In 1536, he was strangled and then burnt at the stake. All right, we'll try this one more time. Mm -hmm. All right. On the count of three, uh, one, two, 